so we meet again. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create a floor. With that floor, you have two choices. I either want it to be checkerboard or floorboards. We will start off with floorboards and then we can lead that into the checkerboard, okay? So you would want to do this before you add any rugs or any furniture. And you may be erasing later on, so I recommend to draw lightly. Okay, your very first step is to get that ruler out, all right? We want to do some measurements. So my line right here is about four and a half inches. I'm going to make a mark at every half inch, okay? So whatever measurement you do, you want it to be equally spaced. It will not turn out if you put random dots and you don't measure. Okay, so here I have it nice and spaced out. All right, here's our next step. Make sure that both dots are lining up by putting the ruler right up against it. Okay, now I'm not gonna draw the line through the wall because I know I'm going to have to erase that. So just go down to the dots that we drew and make your line go off the edge okay and then we go to the next one so you continue through this double check that your ruler is lined up to the vanishing point and the dot that you placed on that corner of the back wall and the floor this is not a race you should not be hurrying through this because that's when mistakes happen work with a nice sharp pencil. Mechanical pencils are great for this. Now, if you decide you wanna go in and add more lines, it's a pretty easy fix. You can take your ruler and add more lines in between. Now, it starts to get a little awkward for me to do this, so you rotate your paper however you need. I'm sort of bumping into my document camera, so I have to adjust what I'm doing. Okay, so you may leave it at this. That is wonderful. Okay, you can have fun and add wood grain in next week. But now I'm gonna show you how to do a checker floor. Okay, so what you do is you're gonna go from the corner of your room to the corner of your paper, okay? So again, the corner to the corner, and you will. I'm gonna draw a line, okay? Some artists, some people will put little dots right here, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and just draw this line so you understand what's happening. Now, I'm gonna take my ruler. The next lines that you draw have to be horizontal, parallel to the edge of the paper, parallel to this wall. You do not wanna angle, okay? The reason we drew this diagonal is to tell us where we need to place our ruler. So it is up to you to double check and measure, okay? So I'm making it nice and parallel. Oh, let me slide it up a little bit more, okay? Here's our first line. Slide down. Second line. And you will notice as you do this that the boxes will start to slowly get larger. as you continue down. So again, you're looking where that diagonal line is intersecting with one of your lines that you drew that went towards the vanishing point. Let me look at the bottom, make sure. I 
think we have one more. Yep. I'm putting my ruler this way above so I can make sure it's parallel to the edge of my paper. Okay. Loop my hand around my document camera and make sure I'm, I didn't go all the way across because my line sort of stops here. Okay. Then you can go in and you can erase that diagonal line. If you're comfortable without drawing that diagonal line, you would put little marks where you are hitting these lines, okay? And that, my friends, is how you make a checkered floor, okay? There you go.